Greetings ladies and gents, and welcome to this narration of the web novel Humans Don't Make Good Familiars, taken from Reddit with the author's approval. If you are new to the series, there is a playlist listed in the description. And as always, I hope that you enjoy. Part 27 Place your hands on the gem directly to your left to the one that you just touched, she said, much more relaxed. I did, and the gem glowed a navy blue. So, um, what kind of magic is it? Inversion magic, the white nymph said. Suma let out a deep relief sigh. Thank goodness, she said. Is that good? I wondered. If you have the chaos type magic, then that's the one you want, Suma said. I have never met an inversion magic user. It's a quite a rare attribute, the nymph noted. How rare? I asked. I've only ever heard of one, she said. The first one. And until you, only creature to use inversion magic was the familiar of the legendary court mage Unsuk Baldagan. So, um, what does it do? I asked. Inversion magic is a unique in that it is only known way for a mage to cast a spell outside their normal types. It switches all order of magic into its chaos magic counterpart, and vice versa, Simmer explained, which also explains what happened the other day in the alley. It does? I wondered. The chaos equivalent of the healing attribute is one of the forms of the illegal magic type that we talked about earlier. Death magic, specifically the pain attribute, also called injury magic, Suma said in a serious tone. It also explains why the guards found evidence of torture on the noble because uh, Suma stopped talking and averted a gaze to the ground. Suma, so sorry I, I didn't. I tried to say, but you cut me off. Stop, Jake. You didn't know. Neither did I. We couldn't have known. Her voice was shaky and beginning to break. This whole time, I thought it was my fault. I, that I had messed up somehow, that I'd done something wrong, but it wasn't, and I didn't. Suma turned to the white nymph and bowed. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. This has taken such a burden off my shoulders. Please, there is no need for that, Lady Suma. The white nymph said as she tried to get Suma to straighten herself. I'm sorry to interrupt, uh, but what exactly does this mean? Like, uh, what do I do with the inversion magic? I asked. I mean, uh, if I'm going to invert every type and attribute I come across, what does this mean for our combo magic? Suma looked caught off guard for a moment. You make a good point. Since my attribute is healing and yours is inversion, any combo magic would be illegal. So, uh, we won't have access to the biggest gun in our arsenal, I said. Wait. What does that mean about my spells? Will I be allowed to do magic? I asked, a bit worried. It was the white nymph who answered the question. Oh yes, you will still be able to use magic. However, since you are a chaos magic user, you won't be able to perform any spells that use order magic, as it is your natural opposite. So, um, I can't use water or fire magic? I asked. Oh no, both chaos and order mages can manipulate the elements and energy. But you wouldn't be able to do is perform healing magic, or really any magic that is only possessed by old mages, like body magic and mind magic. However, energy and nature magic can be performed by both types of mages, the white nymph said. But you said earlier that there were order types, I pointed out. There are, she said, but that's just how I learned them. So can I, I mean, can Niema, who have attributes, use both chaos and order? I asked. No. While the attributes may exist in both types, they are technically using order magic, Suma said. So does that mean I can only use spells that have to do with inversion magic? I asked. Of course not. You can use any type of chaos magic, Suma said. As long as it isn't illegal, that is, the other nymph added. Right, I said a bit confused. They spent a few minutes explaining what types of magic I could legally use, and which were forbidden by law. Apparently, there were not nearly as many known branches of chaos magic as there are order magic, and none of the branches were illegal entirely. I have access to five known branches, inversion, death, nature, energy, and wild. Death was ruled illegal and by practice of it, or its uh, subordinate attributes, war, pain, injury, plague, and famine, is punishable by imprisonment. Wild magic is a blanket term meaning unknown and unclassified. Anything that they don't know about or haven't studied is this type. Eventually, Suma and I said goodbye to the white Niyama and headed out to the training ground. We decided to walk to it. 
That way that we could have a conversation about what we learned and how to proceed. So, um, it looks like I have some studying to do, I said. You need to be careful, Jake. Researching chaos magic will undoubtedly draw a lot of unwanted attention. Nobility, royalty, and even some commoners all have their eyes on people who try and use it. Sumer explained after perching on my shoulder. Why does everyone fear it so much? I get that it's rare, but this feels more like uh, fearing the unknown, I pointed out. There may have been only one known creature to have inversion magic, but there have been several instances of chaos mages, or creatures that possess chaos magic, going on rampages and killing thousands, or even millions. Who were they? Arguably the most famous is the Death Dragon. It was a being of unimaginable power that laid waste to most of the world, nearly leading to my race's extinction, Sua said. Wait, you have dragons here? I said amazed. No, not anymore. They all disappeared years ago. How? No one knows, she said. Some say that they were hunted to extinction after the death dragon's rampage. Others think they just died off naturally. They were tremendous beasts requiring a lot of food, most of which the death dragon destroyed. And the others? I asked. Who were the other chaos magic users, I mean? There were beings from another world that found their way to ours. They were seemingly unstoppable and fearless warriors of incomparable power and they called themselves Vikings. End of chapter. This is a special thank you to the one, the only, the legendary Erak Hino, who has become the only tier 6 patron. I just want to thank the T5 patrons and channel members. Bob the Dragon, Cam Maxwell, Casper Arnholtz, Australia the Dreamer, Trigger95, Hudig Yol, Meridian117, Olivia, Jordan Buxborn, Angry Marine, Albard and Gasta, and Barky. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed. There are links down below, both to support this channel and for the author of this fiction. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic one, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.